Welcome in. I've got a quick one for you that I think will help quite a few people out there. It was something I ran into uh, tuning a car and uh, figured I'd just make a video for everyone because it's something that's really useful when you need it. So this is table scaling. And let me give you a, a useful application of when you would need table scaling. So for example, if you have a data log and you're trying to change the amount of fuel globally or in a certain area. So say everywhere where you have like, where you're above atmospheric, so you're in boost. If you wanted to change all of these globally just to get them closer to a target AFR, uh, you can do that by table scaling um, by a percentage. So for example, let's take a look at this cell right here at 3,700 RPMs and 180 KPA. That's a 10.5 AFR. Now with the Megasquirt products scaling by 8%, so if you take 8% fuel out, that's about one AFR. So on this particular cell in the fuel table, if we took out 8%, that would give us an 11.5 air fuel ratio. So for example, since that's what we're trying to aim for, um, and this area, they're all kind of similar, uh, we want to be right there in that 11.8, 11.5 air fuel ratio. This will globally get us closer. Um, same with down here. Uh, we would rather be close to like a 14, 14.5 uh, in these areas and so on. So for this particular application, we can say, hey, let's just globally take out 8% in this entire fuel map and we'll start from there. That'll get us closer, right? It might not be perfect, but we're going to be as close as we can be. Um, to getting the whole map scaled out. So we're gonna switch back over to the tune and I'll show you how to do this. So here's your fuel map for that log, hypothetically, and you grab all the table. So you can just start in the corner and just click, hold down, grab the whole table. And we're gonna go to this X over here in the corner. This is the scale by. So you can scale up by typing like if you want to scale by 20%, it gives an example here. You can type 1.2 and scale up by 20%. And what I like to do is I like to pick a value that's pretty even and just watch what happens to that value. So for example, this cell right here, these ones are all 100. So it's pretty easy to watch that and think, okay, well, what's 20% of 100? Well, it's 20. So if we make that change again, Boom, you can see it's at 120. So that was scaling by 20%. Now in our case, we don't wanna add fuel. That would be adding fuel. We wanna reduce fuel. We wanna take fuel out of this. So we're gonna highlight it, like we said. We're gonna go here and we're gonna hit, we're gonna type 0.92. So that's 8%. That will take out 8% of this fuel table. Now once again, watch up here where this 100 is. It should drop by eight. 8% uh, of 100 is 8, 10% of 100 is 10, so that kind of just gives you like a rough estimate. It's really good to, to double check yourself. Just find a spot on the table to make sure that you didn't type something incorrectly by accident and you got it right. So you just hit okay, and there we go. So you can see all these that were 100 are now 92. So we have taken 8% out of the entire table. And if you hover over it, uh, it'll usually tell you beginning value. See that how it says 72 or over here we go to beginning value 100 and then you can do some quick math if you want or use a percentage calculator if you're not good uh, off the cuff. You can just find out real quick just to make sure that you're on point with that. So I hope that helps. Um, you can do it in you know any area. You can even do it by one cell. You could you know times this by you could add 30 percent to this one cell and uh, yeah, so you can do it to any any part of this map. You can also do it in the ignition table. It's just a function of the tables in uh, Tuner Studio. So, hope that all helped. Um, enjoy and uh, like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you.